Yo, 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 man. Y'all are back again. I appreciate that. Welcome back to another episode of For the Love of the Game, man. More reactions, more breakdowns, more fire coming your way. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I just alluded to, we got another breakdown. One of the bright up-and-coming players had his ups and downs. You know, had his ups and downs so far. But like anything, you get drafted into a high market. That high market don't work out for you because you got all these unrealistic expectations on you. You automatically get thrown in the trash can. I talked about that. Guys who don't produce right when they come in the league, they get thrown away. You get bounced around. You go play other places. The NBA is so situational, bro. It's about how you're playing at that time and the team you're on, bro. Those go together so well. It's about your opportunity. Not everything is as it seems from the outside looking in. So in this case right here, we got Julius Randle, the left-handed magician. You know what I'm saying? The left-handed problem. Uh, young dude, you know what I'm saying? 2021 Most Improved Player. That award is, I think, one of the more clear-cut awards. Some of these awards, Defensive Player, MVP, things like that, are a little up for grabs. It's about longevity. It's about how long you play, whatever. Most Improved is about a player who, from season to season, took the biggest leap. Statistically, and watching them play, my decision making defensively, every aspect of the game. Most improved player is simple. So this year, Julius Randle averaged 24 points a game, which is outstanding. 10 rebounds and six assists. Definitely getting it like that Bam out of bio category. You know what I'm saying? That that Giannis category, as far as like a dude, a big man, uh four or five who can do it all. I mean, averaging 24, 10, and 6 is pretty good. Giannis, just to put in retrospect, not the same numbers, but you see the potential. Giannis average is probably like 27, 13, and probably like 5.5. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. So he's not too far off like we've done in all these breakdowns. Man, he had three 40-point games. He had 36 20-point games, and he had 12 30-point games. And in my last video about Bradley Bill, I was talking about like when we talking about a player, when we're doing these reactions, we don't even talk about the 20-point games. But for Julius Randle, it's a little different. Because like I said, he's most improved. So he's a star. He's reached that star level this year. I mean, especially making all NBA second team. But he's reached that level being the best player on this team. Definitely the go-to guy. He had his struggles in the playoffs, whatever. But the go-to guy overall for the Knicks. We got to talk about the 20 points. Just because it's elite. It's progression. And like I said, he won it this year. Very deserving. He has six triple doubles this season. He's been in the league this right here, seventh year. So he has six combined through all that time. Mind you, rookie year, he missed significant time, came out, broke his leg, first game of the season, so he missed that whole year. Subtract maybe about a year, roughly. But he has six triple doubles this season. And by the stats, you see that there was a there were a lot of games where he was probably off by two or three rebounds or assists. But he has six triple doubles. He has six combined in the last seven seasons. He was really going to work, really the catalyst of getting the Knicks to the fifth seed, I believe. And then seeing what they did, the moves they made, bringing in Evan Fournier, Kimba Walker, re-signing some of their guys, building all that to have to go through. If Julius Randle does have another playoff struggle, they will now have guys able to back him up and help him out. Um, but we got top 10 plays from Julius Randle, the 2021 Most Improved Player of the Year. And much like I said with the Jordan Clarkson highlights, bro, Again, not using the NBA. I can't really use them. Copyright reasons. So, we're going to do things. It's about his best plays from the season. They're just not broken up from 10 to 1. So, we'll look at them. We'll go over a couple. We'll review a couple. And you'll see the stride he's taking. He really made a big stride from the three-point line. So, I'm expecting to see a, a lot of threes being put up. So, that's what we got, man. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. Late shot clock heave. Let's go. Okay, start it off. And they and they got Milwaukee right now by 18. I don't know what happened to this game. I don't know how it ended or anything. They got Milwaukee right now by 18. Okay. Okay. Come back to me. Come back to me. Hey. Woo! Hold on, Drummy. You better watch your head down there. You mess around, break your hand trying to block a dunk like that. Don't get hurt like that. Okay, look at it. Jab, Osmond. Awesome. Okay. Oh, no, that's a facial. Look at it. I'll stop it for you. Look. 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a facial. And one got hit got hit across the head and everything. He with it. Oh, uh, he missed it. Okay. Here we go. Read it. Little kid Dame on him. Good shot. Right here. You catch it in your spot. Exploit the mismatch. Look, the double coming. Give him a couple ball fades. Keep him honest. Shoot right over him. Nothing Dame could do. It's a good move, Dre. Coming down. Coming down. Oh. So look. He has a lot of arc on his shots. And then uh, when I was doing the Jokic breakdown, I was breaking down. This is about the third play, but we've seen Julius Randle catch it in this spot multiple times. I wouldn't be surprised we keep watching more of these plays. He's catching it in that spot, and he's facing up, and he's either attacking the basket or he's shooting a little mid-range jumper. Because I can see it already. I mean, he's, he's, he's done it multiple times. Oh, 42. Okay. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. Who? Oh. Who? Oh. Hey! Let's go, man. Coast to coast. Back to it. Ah, oh, now, now, why they put some bonus clip in here? You know what I'm saying? Now, why, why would they do that, bro? Look. Oh. Oh. Try to reach. Bring it right over him. He's little. He's little. I don't care about Sabonis, man. Let's go. Still versus Indiana. Good pick. Hey. I don't know why that was on there, y'all. I really don't. Watch the clock. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh. Shooter's touch for Big J Red. Look at this, though. Look at this. We got to talk about this. He's in, the, he's in one of the worst spots on the court. One of the worst spots on the court is to be in the corner. He's in the corner. But if you see the high elbows, right? The high elbow, Him having the ball over his head and swinging through with the high elbows is just to create space. If you are Tobias Harris, yeah, that's Tobias Harris. If you're Tobias Harris right now, you're trying to play defense and keep him close because you know you got him cornered, but you're not trying to get caught with an elbow. But you see that there, just the high swings, just little stuff like that. High elbows, clearing space, and then a subtle push. To shoot the sidestep. Uh, look, you see the high elbows, solid push. And that right there, hey, that's just a shooter's role. You know what I'm saying? That's just putting in a lot of work, a lot of repetition, muscle memory. And and, and you get likely roles when you when you really working on your game. You get favorable roles. That's for real. That's for real. Look at them. High elbows, high elbows. Sidestep. And look at that. Uh, ooh. That's almost like Kawhi shot. We got to see it three times, though. Okay, high elbow. High elbow. High elbow. Slight push. Side step. When you a top-notch scorer, you only need the smallest space to be able to get your shot off. That's what these pros are real good at. Look, come here. On ball. Come here. Uh-oh, KP, don't jump. Whoa. 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 Cleaver, Cleaver shouldn't have done that. Max Cleaver, we've never known him to be a shot blocker of any kind, of any sort. Why would he put himself in harm's way? <laughs> Look at that, man. Wow. I'm talking like show that to your kid. Bring that to, to meet the parents day at school or something. Max Cleaver, need to make sure this don't service the web. I won't put it out there for you, Maxie. You, you just, he got dunked on so hard, he ran into the sanction. The stanchion. Man. Yeah, that was trouble. That was trouble. Why are these so long? Why are they carrying over so much? Are they going to show it? First off, good still. He did foul, but look at this. Did you hear how the dunk went in? One more time. I ain't going to pause. It wasn't worth it. I missed it. I missed it. Okay. Why are these still doing that? I don't understand why the Mavericks highlights are in this. All right. I better see something because right now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Read it. 
Oh. Last second heave. Okay, but sidestep. He loved the sidestep. He loves the corner. He loves that side of the floor. Short corner to the regular corner extended. Another one. Catch and shoot. I said it at the beginning, man. He really developed the three ball this year. So I wasn't surprised if we seen tons of jump shots. Um, sorry if that video was not the best. Like I said, man, as of right now, I'm a little limited not being able to use the NBA's highlights and their plays and everything. So I'm a little limited. But nonetheless, man, you get the gist. 2021 Kia Most Improved Player of the Year, Julius Randle. What an amazing year. First time making an all-NBA team. He made NBA second team. And more than anything, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I'll see y'all next time. We out.